the sun is setting and we are uh, pushing through. We got a couple more hours to go here, headed to a spot that we're headed to Louisiana, I guess is what I should say. And Louisiana was one of those states when I was chasing this U.S. slam. It was a thorn in my side. It was one of those repeat states, ones I had to go back to and visit again. The turkeys treated me rough. I never could catch a break with the weather. And it was one of those places when I pulled out, I said, well, glad I'm done with that. I might be back to duck hunt. I might be back to enjoy Bourbon Street for New Year's or something of that nature. But I ain't going to be back to turkey hunt. I'm done with it. Signed, sealed, and delivered. See you later. No thank you. I don't know why it is that we... When we bite off some, a place or some turkeys or whatever, and it takes a takes a bit of chewing to get it swallowed. For some reason, those are the ones that, that drag us back. Let's hope it goes a little smoother and better than it did back then, because Louisiana was one of those that beat me up. But anyways, let me jump off at Love's, fill up with some fuel. Got a couple more hours to go, and uh, when daylight breaks in the morning, we will be uh, looking over some Louisiana ground. I think that's where we want to be. Whew, let's get our uniform on and get some coffee started. Uh. See, that's the only one problem yeah. that bayou. We'd have to really see that come up. Right? Yeah. We have to come and snake our way through right there. So we're up and moving. Um, just picked the spot on the map, huh? Picked the spot on the map. But well, really, we chose this spot specifically because of what the private is offering. You know, not that we can hunt the private, but we're hoping to catch a turkey, roost it on the public, slip in between him and the private, kill him because, kill him because the private yeah. got some good food plots, good openings. Uh, all across this bottom so um. the, the reason we're having to do that is because across the board this year it appears that um, there's no mass crop whatsoever so the turkeys are not in the timber like they typically would be we're finding the turkeys in food plots and green fields and in Mississippi unfortunately enough on people's corn feeders uh, well let's tighten up let's roll boy let's Get go there, whoop boy. us one let's go find us one. Oh yeah the birds start to hold time it It was that way. It's so dang far. Let's get down into that knob and get another listen on it. Yeah, just right here so we can get our ears right over the top of that bottom. That's the second time we've heard him. Chasing sounds in the clouds right now. Because the turkey was so far. We'll close about 300. And uh, get over here to where hopefully if he gobbles again, we can get a better bearing. We were up on these high little before it falls off into this big old bottom. And now we're crossing the bottom.
stands right on that river. Yeah. Well, how far do you think he is? 400? Four at least. At least? Mm -hmm. Let's see how far four is. What we'll do, we'll just cut this knob here. We don't end of this one. There'll be a bottom between us. We'll see how they're at from there. That's the last little finger right there. We'll just have to hit that creek, go down. That turkey may be headed back toward that private uh, pasture back there. The only thing is that's probably a pretty deep drain right there. eventually steps up to almost the top so I know all of that probably made no sense but I can't show y'all math so this be a fine place for one to roost right on this water oh yeah big old pines right here fine place yeah it's like an old set an old rope bed maybe up there just green green grass or some sort of promise here in Paris Turkey habitat there now. Looks like you could kill one right there. If we just ease right here. And that turkey gobbles up on top right there. We might be able to make that crest on him, you know. Steep, it all comes down like in a train. He's up on top.
is he buying this pine for me? To my right. Just give it a minute. Yep. <laughs> okay. I got it. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> what a hell man. Did you have it? Huh? I got it on the barrel camera and I got this on, like the, the big camera, I couldn't. Man, when they catch you like that, you ain't, you ain't videoing that crap, you know? I should give you the video camera, you could probably video the crap out of it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Didn't have a clue we was in the world, he's fixing to come. I would've let him come really close, but I was in a bad was, spot. I know, and it was I, real tight right yep. there. And if he'd have came, if he'd have came, if he'd have came down on us, then it'd have been rough. Well, Cause he'd have popped up at like 10. I, yeah, I caught him. I, you could see him way before I could. Oh, yeah. Cause I had that big old that, freaking limb in front of me. Right. And I said, this limb's gonna kill me. That's why I went ahead and shot him where I did. Oh, I was hoping you would. Cause if you would have kept coming, I was he, in the I, I let him get down. I let him get as close as he could before he disappeared before the crest of the ridge. So. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, he didn't oh, have it about yeah, three. He didn't have about three more steps, and he'd have been below this, and I'd have to wait for him to come up this side. We hit him twice with the wing bone, once with the mouth yet, but that was That's it. it. Yep. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Yep. But he was listening to us walk up through here. He was listening to us walk up through here, doing the soft calling, doing the scratching in the leaves. Yep. And he was probably just hoping that we would key in on yep. the drum, and if we were hinged, you know? And come on up the hill. And we were doing the mouth open the whole time, and he was just sitting there listening to it. Then you hit him with the wing bone, and it was like, ooh, something different. Yep. And once he give one out, he's like, I've already ruined my cover now. But, you know, the first time he gobbled. It sounded like he was up on top, maybe a little bit over. Right. Second time, I said, I said, I said he's came to the top. Now. When you called, I tell, I can tell he, you yep, yep. I said, well, this turkey. He's moving quick. Yeah, and he, and he, wants, he wants something to do with us for sure. We got his attention. Well, let's walk you through the process because I'm not sure how much. I should have give Hunter the camera, but it happened so quick, we just kind of had to hit the deck. If I'd have give you that camera though, you'd have been in a wide open trying to video with that joker. It would have been a dicey situation. Hunter is on this wide open pine tree right here, ain't sitting crisscross applesauce. Yeah, <laughs> like I was in kindergarten. <laughs> I was right here. I started to back up against that joker right there, but if you look where we're sitting right here, that ridge top, we watched him come off of this one right here and come down and every foot that I go backwards this way, I lose some elevation. I was wanting to get to those little pine trees right there and I could be able to shoot that bottom nice and open, but I ended up sitting on my knees right here. You can see where the camera was beside me, videoing the freaking ground, of course. This pine tree lamb right here was killing me. It was costing me. Cause the turkey was zigzagging through, right through there. And I knew if he got, if he went down in this bottom, y'all can see how close he would have been when he popped up. I'm talking like 10 yards, like 
dangerous territory. So I let him get with another. He was right there with two more steps. He's going to go behind this stuff and I wouldn't be able to get him. So I let him come as close as he's going to come and killed him beside that black tree right there. Gunner. That's all we can say. Let me look. Yeah. When you got these ravines between you, it really messes up your yardage. You know how far that black tree is? And he was just on our side of that black tree? How far? 30.9. So you could have possibly... Oh, yeah, I probably could have killed him way up there on top. Yeah. Damn, that black tree's 30? Yeah, that, that black little... Back side where you shot him? Yeah, right beside where I shot him is 30.9. Really? I thought, I thought yeah. we were looking at 38, 40 yards right there, yeah. maybe. When we got down in these woods right here, there's the water, the creek that we walked in right there. We caught some water oaks right down there on the water and they were dropping some acorns. They were, they were. Or had dropped acorns this year and we hadn't been able to find that in the woods hardly any. Nope, nowhere. Nowhere. No, there were some, and there was some old turkeys scratching under it. And I thought these turkeys may be, we both agreed that that was a fine roost because there was some big trees out in that water. Fine roost from turkeys to roost down there and pitch into the side and work these woods up. and. I don't know if that's what he was doing, but he'd had no problem coming down in here to this timber, did he? Nope. I mean, no problem. He's a fine gobbler. Fine I gobbler. I him as an Osceola, because uh, I think these jokers migrated from the north. From the they, Tennessee? From the Tennessee, mm -hmm. Tennessee, or that north east part of Missouri. Mm -hmm. they, they like to come down that river on them big Alberta clippers and get down here. <laughs> yeah. God, what a turkey, man. Yeah. And guess what, y'all? Yesterday was my birthday. You All see? the years past, 10 years, I've killed turkeys right before my birthday and right after. And once again, here we go. I didn't kill a turkey on my birthday. We killed a turkey before my birthday and a turkey after. How about that? Huh? Boy, them 10 ounce button lights don't know what's going to hit them when I get back to that truck. I'm going to pound them. God dang. How about a cigar? I got a couple. You got a couple? I do. Oh, man. <laughs> what flavor? I think I got original. Original? That's, a, that's my style. I'm not, a, I'm not a peach guy like Sleazy. I don't do grape like Tanner. I'm, I'm a I'm, tropical fusion man. And so. you are. <laughs> yeah, I could talk. <laughs> tropical fusion fits right in your personality. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Fruity. <laughs> oh, man. I think I know where Lazy Boy got their idea from. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Big water oak. Thank you. Oh, but that was a fine hunt. Gosh. Man, you just worked all season to find one in that mood. Yep. Golly. This bird right here <clears throat> did it about just as good as they, as could, it, do. As they could do it. I mm -hmm. mean, there ain't no doubt. This is just it was an unbelievable hunt. I'm glad to watch you finally shoot one with your new Benelli. Tell yeah. them you finally That's broke right. it in, boy. I got it. I've carried it four times now, and I finally was able to use it. The How about them cigars? Where are you hiding them damn cigars? That's what I'm curious about. We over here, you know, talking to these people, they don't want to miss them to us. Mm. I'll tell you one thing, when them wood ducks started jumping up when we were, um, when making we were, our creep in, making our creep in I, I was about to tell you something, we're going to have to shift gears here <laughs> just for a second. He's going to put find something to put in the brown gravy. In that brown gravy, boy. <laughs> yeah, I had two males in a shot at one time. I said, man, you know, this turkey hunting's real fun and all, but, you know, we, got, we need something to eat tonight. I called you yesterday. I said, uh, hey, what the hell are we plan on cooking for the next few days? I said, shit, I sure hope turkey breast. I said, well, I guess we'll bank on that. I, I was starting to grab some from out my freezer. I said, nah, because that's just, you know, you know that's yeah. cheating, you know put what I mean? Put your back against the wall. That's right. You know? Start with your back against the wall. That's right. And come out of there fighting, swinging. Well, I think the cool kids say eat, uh, hunt hungry. You got to hunt hungry. Hunt hungry, kill more? As in... Like as in, if you don't kill nothing, you're going to be going hungry when you don't bring no dinner. Well, we got an alligator going to come eat us back here, or does he take his old muskrat? 
I can promise you one thing. If it's an alligator and he comes crawling up here, as long as I got shells on that Benelli, he's in a bind. <laughs> if he ain't making it to us, you don't have to worry about that.